Hey guys, it's Evan here. I thought I'd do a fun little video on how I wash my Tesla at home. Now, full disclosure, I am by no means a hardcore follow the system car wash guy. If you think I didn't follow the cleaning process the correct way, please comment down below. I'm also nowhere near the level of dirt accumulation. For example, Dirty Tesla's Model 3 on his YouTube channel where I believe he drives a lot on gravel roads. My Tesla is rarely, if ever, driven on gravel roads, but rather solid pavement like most people. So when you see me clean the car with no two bucket system it's because I do not have the crazy amount of dirt accumulation like he does so here we go last year I originally just used a garden hose and a one bucket system with the typical car soap and brush I then discovered this electric power washer on Amazon for a pretty darn good price and what sold me is that it's equipped with wheels which you'll see later comes in quite handy when moving around the car typically other electric power washers would need to be hand carried as you move around the vehicle it also has a built-in soap dispenser which I personally do not use because I have a soap cannon that attaches on the pressure washer nozzle. This washer is also equipped with four nozzle sets and when pressure washing your car I recommend using the 25 degree attachment. Any lower and you could damage the paint or worse the cameras on the Tesla for the autopilot system. So here's my method to washing my Tesla. I start off by first pressure washing the car with plain water to remove any contaminants, dirt, and bugs accumulating on the paint. You can see how nicely the washer rolls around as I move around the car. Next I remove the 25 degree attachment and attach my soap cannon applicator using the Meguiar's Ultimate Wash and Wax Soap. Now you can obviously choose whatever car soap you like. I just prefer this soap the best as it appears to work quite well in the soap cannon. I see a lot of professional cleaners that will use the brand name Chemical Guys which is the snow foam cleanser. Either way you have it, use what you like best. Anyways, I then go around the entire car with the foam cannon and let the soap sit in the car for a few moments before I go ahead and scrub it down with this microfiber brush mop. Again, my car never really gets that dirty and I typically do this about every two weeks. However, if my car was like dirty Tesla's car, meaning caked in mud, I would highly recommend the two bucket system, which is dipping your mop in the soap water twice every so often so you're not going to scratch the car's paint with possible debris you have picked up in the mop mitt. I feel this car wash process works best for me, but certainly look into the two bucket bucket car wash system if you think you need it. Again, I'm no professional at this by any means. I just enjoy washing my car at home rather than running it through a car wash. Now after giving the car a good scrub, I then go ahead and remove the foam cannon applicator and I reattach the green 25 degree nozzle. I thoroughly spray down the car being very careful not to get too close to the Tesla side cameras. When fitting When finished, it's important to use a microfiber towel like you see here to prevent scratching of the car's paint. I found these on Amazon for a decent price. Now when the car is still wet, I like to use this Turtle Wax Ceramic Wet Wax applicator to prevent water spots and also adds a nice shine to the car's paint. When the entire car is dry, I then grab a different microfiber cloth and spray the car very lightly with this Turtle Wax Ceramic Spray Coating that really makes the car pop, adding a brilliant shine while also repelling water after a good rain outside. This stuff by far is my favorite, and I use it once a month to maintain my Tesla's clear coat. Not only can you use this on your car's paint, but also the rims, the headlights, and trim. It's just a really great solution from the Turtle Wax brand. Finally, I add this Extreme Tire Shine by Armor All to add a nice wet black shine that typically, from my experience, lasts two weeks. Now, it's nothing fancy by any means, but it avoids the tire fading and the cracking. It also comes with a gel applicator to avoid the messy overspray. All of these items I mentioned will be in the description below if you're interested in washing your Tesla at home too. This is what I find works best for me. If you think there is a better way for me to wash my car, let me know again down below. If you thought this video was helpful, please click the like button and subscribe for more content like this in the future. Until the next video guys, stay safe and I'll see you all on the next one.